guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing more of a really chill, kind of just go with the flow vibe video. I decided to do this because I feel like I wanted to update you guys on a lot of things that are going on in my life right now. I decided that I would just sit down and chit chat with you guys since I haven't really done one of these types of videos and I feel like it's good just to sit down and talk. So that is what I'm going to do today. So the first thing that I want to talk about is the NYX Face Awards. So I decided that this year I was going to enter and and just try out and see how it goes. So I posted my NYX Face Award entry video on Sunday and I am overwhelmed with your guys' comments. You guys are so supportive and I can't believe that I, I don't even know what to say. I really do hope that I can get into the top 30 because that would be awesome to share the journey with you guys. You guys know I love makeup tutorials and I feel like this is like right up my alley. I have been wanting to enter into the NYX Face Awards for quite some time. I just never really got the chance, needless to say. I actually got the chance to sit down and film a nice video for my entry. I definitely wasn't sure if I was going to post that video because I felt like some of the stuff that I did was a little bit messy, but all in all, a lot of people have been so supportive and for those of you who have seen the video, who have thumbs it up, thank you so, so much. You guys, it means the world to me and reading all of your guys' awesome comments also, like, just melts my heart. It's so awesome to get support from people that don't even really know you. It really is amazing. I will link the video down below for you guys so you guys can go and check it out and it would be awesome if you guys could like the video as well. I am super excited for it. I was super pleased and proud with how the video came out even though I am a one-man show. I filmed it. I edited it. Uh, edited it? Is that a word? I did everything and I'm a one-man show or one woman show and I feel like I put a lot of effort into it and they did and I am proud of it. Thank you all so much for being supportive and for showing me so much love. So um, I actually had cheer tryouts this past weekend and I am officially a cheerleader again for the fall 2015 football season. I'm super pumped because I actually get to travel this year. I'm going to try out for travel team and everything and I'm super excited because we are going to California and obviously that's where I'm from. You guys know this and I'm super excited because um, it's actually we're going to play a school that I actually wanted to go to when I got out of high school. I am super pumped for the football season. I am so excited to watch Mason play. Um, last like season we had a few issues with him and his eligibility and then he got hurt and it was just a roller coaster for him mainly but me seeing him so down it's like so stressful but I'm super excited for this season because he is going to come back harder than ever I honestly couldn't be happier for him so I am so excited my favorite part about cheering football season is the excitement and then also cheering for him as well so um, if you guys don't know I am a cheerleader in college um, that's pretty much all I can say. So that went down last week. Going along with that, my semester here in school is actually coming to an end. We actually have one more week of school and then finals week and I am super over this entire semester. I've been on the struggle bus literally the entire semester because of um, just some things that I was going through as far as what I wanted to do with my life. I was just stressing myself out more than I really needed to and it was just kind of like a roller coaster at the beginning and now I am really struggling to catch up with everything and get myself back into it and obviously I shouldn't be doing this like two weeks before school is out but I am so yeah I've been on the struggle bus I've been driving the struggle bus for a really long time now I'm just praying that I can get all of my stuff done and all of my homework missing assignments whatever it is I'm just hoping that I can get it done and pass all of my classes because that's all that really matters we are actually going back to California for the summer and I cannot be happier I'm so excited to see my family and to see my friends and to go to the beach Beach, get tan and I am so excited mainly for In-N-Out because In-N-Out is is 
life, literally life. We are leaving on the 9th of May and my birthday is the week after and I'm like, I there's just so much going on I feel like. So I am definitely looking forward to going home. Um, me and Mason are actually moving into a new apartment so we have to pack up everything that we unpacked at the beginning of the year and um we are moving to a brand new apartment it's being built right now like it's a brand new apartment the only reason why we're moving to a new apartment is because this new apartment has central air and it has a washer and dryer inside like the actual apartment building like inside our home in this apartment that i live in right now we actually share a washer and dryer with the three other tenants that are in the building and I don't mind. I really don't mind, but I hate spending the money to go and wash clothes. I, I'm not a fan of it, like, at all, so I'm super excited that we're going to have our own washer and dryer. We don't have to pay for it, um, and it's just going to be super convenient to have the washer and dryer inside our own home, and I can, like, chill on the couch instead of, like, having to go out, go downstairs, wash clothes, come back up, go back down to see if they're done, come back up, and it's just... Then also, we are actually going to be having central air in the apartment as well. Right now, we just have like the little air conditioning box in the living room and it just wasn't doing the trick. The summer was so miserable. I slept on the couch a majority of the summer and I am not planning on doing that again. I'm really excited to move into our new apartment. It's super nice and... I just, I'm really excited. I'm actually kind of sad that we're leaving this place because it's like mine and Mason's officially, like official first place together and we've made so many memories here like I feel like and it's just a really good time here. Like nothing against this place. I love this apartment. I love it so much but I just feel like we're moving on to bigger and better things. We're moving into our new apartment at the end of June. We're going home for two months and then coming back and spending the last month of summer in South Dakota. We were actually supposed to start packing last week and we actually haven't started packing at all. So I am struggle bus driving it you guys I am driving the struggle bus so another thing that I wanted to address is vlogging so I love watching vlogs and I love seeing people's lives and seeing what they do on a daily basis and I wish I could be that person so basically I want to start vlogging more and I've been trying to but I always forget so I was thinking about making a vlog channel but I don't want to neglect it if that makes any sense I definitely plan on vlogging a lot from now until like the entire summer I plan on vlogging a lot because I feel like I'll be doing a lot probably not a lot a lot but I feel like I'll be doing more than I do during school time I kind of want to make a vlog channel because I kind of want to keep like my main like my beauty videos and then my 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 vlog life separate but then again I don't want people on my you know beauty channel to not get the luxury of seeing vlogs so I'm kind of been contemplating for quite some time if I want to make a separate channel for vlogs or keep them all on the same channel I would definitely love to know what you guys think um, because everything that I do on my channel is for you and I mean, I love doing my beauty videos. I love vlogging. I think it's so fun to look back on vlogs. and like, it's kind of like reliving a memory. And I really love that. And I love vlogging. I just need motivation. So I don't know if making a new channel would motivate me to vlog more or something. I was thinking about starting with weekly vlogs. So like Monday through Saturday or Sunday through Saturday. Or I could do Sunday through Friday, upload Saturday. And I don't know. I'm definitely not at the point where I want to do daily vlogs because my daily life is so boring. You guys would be like, you do the same thing all the time. Like, when will you change? I feel like using two separate channels is definitely more organized, but like I said, I don't want to like neglect my vlogs or like my beauty watchers from my vlog viewers because I know some of you guys really love vlogs and want me to vlog all the time and then there's some people who just don't care like they want to see makeup tutorials and that's about it I would definitely love to know your guys' opinion on what I should do let me know your suggestions down below like what days I should vlog from and what day I should upload on 
And then also, like, let me know if I should make a new channel or just stick with right now just my main channel. As far as videos go during the summertime, I'm actually going to be filming. I will be filming back at home, but I will not have any equipment with me. I won't have any lighting. I won't even have a lot of makeup with me. So I'm not really sure how I want to do this yet. I really want to like bust out a lot of makeup tutorials from now until May 9th which is probably going to be really hard because I don't have a lot of like in between time but I really want to bust out a bunch of makeup tutorials so I can just have those videos to go up for you guys. I'm not sure if I'm going to be having a couple videos a week or just stick to one video a week during the summer. I just want to make sure that I have videos going up for you during summer because two months is a long time and I'm definitely not going to leave you guys hanging. I'm going to have videos up. I'm going to try to pre-record a lot of videos and then edit as I go along so I'm not really sure alright you guys so that is it for today's video I kind of wanted to just sit down and talk to you guys about kind of what's going on and what's gonna be happening in the next couple of weeks and over summer and everything because I know that it's going to be crazy so don't forget to check out my next face awards entry down below in the description box it will also be linked at the end of this video and I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope you guys loved it I hope you guys like this little chit chat video I kind of want to do more of them so don't forget to subscribe to all of my social media down below and I will see you guys in my next video bye Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to achieve this look and this is going to be my entry for the NYX Face Award. So let's go ahead and get started.